welcome to this place and today I'm no longer seeing Kobna but it's me Bismarck. Kobna is busy with the farm work and all that. So today what we are going to do is the feeding test with our catfish with black sugar flies larvae. Alright so we have the fresh one here, the live one okay you can see them moving and all that. We sorted them um, recently that was uh, yesterday and we are going to try them on our catfish yes and aside that another activity that we did yesterday was the roasting of the soja fly lava this is because we wanted to expand its shelf life so that it will be uh, more easier to transport to customers who want it and also more easier to store it for a longer period of time which is more than one year okay and with, with me here is also our pellet that's it this is our pellet that we made to feed our catfish this is a smaller size which is the 1.5 mm and also this is the bigger size for the bigger catfish so today we are going to do feeding test uh, because the, our catfish are bigger we won't use this one but we'll use this this and the fourth one so stick and stay while I move quickly to our fish tank to do this feeding test okay. So finally I'm here close to our fish tank and I'm come to do the feeding test. So you can see here we have the live one, here we have the roasted one and we have also our pellets in the poly bag. We are come to do the feeding test right now, stick and stay and see how we do it. But most especially because of packaging sake, um, the available product that you get from us is basically the roasted one which is more concentrated because of the uh, uh, the roasting okay because um, in as much as you use um, I think if you with the fresh ones uh -huh, after roasting you get uh, only 35% out so it means this one has more concentrated crude protein than the live one okay and this one will also help with the longer shelf life um, when it comes to storage and all that so it's um, it's very good for all our farm uh, uh, fish farmers who are out there looking for alternative for their fish meal soya soya bean meal and other protein uh, source that is used in feeding our poultry and also our fish all right so stick here stay and let me do this short test all right so i'm here to start with the feeding and all that Bat 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 how they are picking it and all that. So yes, and also for the sake of storage purposes, the roasting is the best because you get more concentrated crude protein inside. Also, what we will be doing next will be conversion of the roasted one to powder form. So we wait for some 10 minutes for them to consume everything then we move on to the next which is the fresh larvae. Also what I want to draw your attention on is that because this is more crispy um, our next processing will be converting this to powder so, so that it will be much easier to uh, um, transport and carry along. Although this is also much easier but I think um, getting it into powder will help even our poultry farmers 
to be able to mix it with their feet. So that is that. Okay, so after even just three minutes, they were able to consume everything. So you can look at them how they've been able to finish eating all the roasted ones. So it means they really like it. So I will urge all fish farmers to get this wonderful um, black soldier fly larvae uh, for their fish because it's a good alternative and a very good source of protein. Okay, so next is the live ones. I'll come to do the feeding test. Then after five minutes, as usual, we'll come and check them and test finally with our pellet that we made from the black soldier fly. All right. Bat, 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 bat. Bat, 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 bat. So you can see how I'm spreading them. Later you find out that it's all been consumed. Bat, 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 bat. Alright, so clearly you can see that this was also very successful because you won't see any of the live ones even floating on the So yes, so it means they really like it. And it's a very good source of and protein for these catfish. Next is our pellets that we made, which has a concentration of azola. Azola is a, a water plant that uh, has about 35% protein concentration and also together with um, the black sugar fly so it has a good protein factor we have bra uh, rice bran inside and a wheat bran inside as uh, serving as a source of binder and also the carbohydrate parts don't forget that the black sugar fly contains some parts of some sorry some essential oils uh -huh, needed for the catfish growth and all that so let me see how things goes with them we have all these things available in our store, so in case you like some, feel free to contact us. Okay, so bat, 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 bat. So you can see how they are eating, they are picking it. It's a very good meal for them. They like it because it has good uh, protein concentration as well as um, carbohydrate content apart, we have proportionately um, added 
all the needed uh, essential nutrients that the catfish needs in this pellet. So if you need some for your catfish production, feel free to contact us. It's more, um, it's a cheaper alternative and a very quality one. That's all. So. So with the pellets also you've seen how they put in uh, them nicely and all that. So like I said, um, if you want some just feel free to contact us for either the pellet, we have the uh, black soldier fly, lava. We also have the powder, that's what we are going to do next. So in case you want some, just keep your orders coming and we are going to respond to it. Have a wonderful day. My name is Miss Magdazi and bye bye.